What's up everybody, I'm Eric Hansen with Backpacking TV and today I have a special guest, my lovely and wonderful girlfriend, Christy. And we are going to be bringing to you a review on the Women's Bridger 55 liter backpack from Mystery Ranch. Now, I have been using both the men's 55 and the men's 65 liter Bridger pack and there are some differences, not only between the women's and the men's design, but also between the 55 liter and the 65 liter pack. So also, this is going to be very important because we need to know a woman's opinion, a strong woman's opinion, Whoa. on <laughs> what this pack is like, because I've been getting lots of questions specifically about how this pack fits for women. For the ladies. For the ladies. <laughs> so we're gonna break it down starting now. In this video, this while this is a women's backpack review video, this is not a video that only the women out there should pay attention to, because if you are curious about the 55 liter Mystery Ranch Bridger for men as well, this will be highly relevant to you. There's a few subtle differences between the fit of a women's pack and the men's pack, but the design features are unique to this one as say opposed to the men's 65 or the men's 55. We just went on a backpacking trip through the Wind River Range. Christy got to use this pack. Yeah. It was her first time using this pack. She's used other packs before. And uh, first off, how was just initial impressions for you using that backpack? I loved this backpack. It was super comfortable right off the bat. It felt like it fit my long torso very well, especially getting the sizing right. I originally had gotten uh, an extra small and I needed a small to fit my long torso, but also the fact that this is a 55 liter, I was using a 40 liter as well, but it didn't, it didn't distribute the weight properly on on my body. I actually really love using the 55 liter backpack for that reason alone. Um, it just felt like it was, the weight was just like distributed properly and it was really comfortable. I love all the padding that they have on it. It, it just makes me feel hugged instead of feeling like I've got this like gnarly thing on my back. So I love the way it sits on my hips. Um, with us women, you know, we've got some higher and uh, a little bit wider hips and having it sit on mine in a way where I didn't feel like I was bruising was so nice. Um, I have had times where I would get really bruised on my hips after about six miles and this I didn't happen at all. Before we talk into further detail, I want to <laughs> say what some of the specs are on this backpack. The cost of the Bridger 55 liter backpack is $329, which is a little bit pricey, but also right in line with a, where a lot of the other women's packs are sitting on the market. The Diva from, from Gregory is 319, so it's just a hair more than that. And some of the Osprey packs are right around 300, kind of 299 as well. So it's just a tiny bit pricier, but it feels like it's right within that price point of some of the very popular women's backpacks. Also, this pack weighs in at 5.2 pounds. Now, you might hear that weight number and think, wow, that's pretty heavy. And it is on the upper end of weight for backpacking backpacks out there. However, I would just give it the quick caveat that the way in which that 5.2 pounds carries the weight that you, whatever you're packing, it's really, really nice but I think where it excels is how it distributes and carries all of the weight that you can, that you're packing. So if you are carrying a little bit more, it actually feels ultimately like less. Now, the big question that I've gotten on how this pack works because they both, why don't you turn that one around here? They both have this unique running vest stra style strap, which is really unique for backpacking backpacks in general. And the big question is how does that feel for ladies? How does it feel for people with uh, bosoms? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't really know how to address this Classy. topic <laughs> without yeah. it getting- And you know what? I'm gonna be too, so straightforward about all of this. Um, you, 
guys, you might get a little more information than you want, but ladies, I know this is something you're gonna wanna hear. Okay, so. actually this review isn't for guys anymore. <laughs> guys, you can exit this video. I've got plenty of other content for you. You don't need to know anything about my girlfriend's chest, okay? So exit the video. Get out of here. Steve, you're still lingering. Get the heck out. So How, uh, let's talk about the comfort of this backpack. What did you find? Ladies, just for your reference, I kind of straddle between a C, D, and for me, this backpack is very comfortable. These straps, I don't notice them at all. You know, I, I could see where if someone had uh, a larger chest than I may put pressure points on areas that you might not like. But for me, wearing the particular sports bra that I like to hike in, it's a little padded. Um, it doesn't do a whole lot of push up, which I feel like could create issues with this pack. As long as you feel tight and snug in your sports bra, I think you will feel really comfortable in this pack. I, again, I don't, <laughs> I don't notice the strap at all. You know, it, it was actually quite comfortable. It actually felt like it gave me a little more support than I was expecting. A really, actually, it's very important note to, about this. These are also adjustable uh, and they're completely removable. So if you just hate how this feels, you can uh, detach these cross straps. Now you'll still have this wide, really wide actually vest strap here, but these buckles themselves and how they attach in between these points are movable. You can change them in the, these positions. You can raise them up. You can tighten them up together or you can remove them all together. So that mm -hmm. is important to know. If you hate how it fits for yeah. you, mm -hmm. you can just ditch them and uh, hopefully they won't get in the way for you. Something I do like about this bottom strap is that something I noticed for myself is that uh, the outer edge of these straps tend to kind of push a little too far into my armpit or or whatever and that stra extra strap on the bottom actually helps pull the pull it over to where it's not rubbing uh, in a weird spot over here that is one thing I really did love about about this as well the the yoke system is the main thing about the Bridger series of packs whether you're talking about men's packs women's packs 65 liter 55 liter uh, or bigger, other sizing, it doesn't really matter. They're all got this really unique system that honestly at first I was very skeptical of. I thought it was going to be cheesy. I thought it was going to be uncomfortable. And the biggest thing for me is how much it distributes the weight across my sternum, across my chest, really removes a lot of the pressure off mm -hmm. of my shoulder points. And so I can have uh, a much heavier carry so I can uh, Bridger not excuse me mystery ranch advertises that this backpack can carry effectively 50 pounds uh, and that that's a pretty heavy backpack for anybody going backpacking especially if you're new to backpacking that's a lot of weight and I have found it to be true I have been pushing the limit on what this can carry and I still find it to be really comfortable. You had the heaviest backpack that you've ever carried mm -hmm. on our Wind River trip and you were not really noticing it, not mm -hmm. like you were before in previous trips as well. Right, yeah, I lasted way longer, <laughs> way longer before I actually felt any, any sort of discomfort or bruising or whatever, right? Because that, that just comes with the backpacking. If you go a certain amount of miles, you're gonna feel it, but the amount of time that I could go before I started to feel it was so much higher. Yeah. Mystery Ranch has this really unique system of building these triangles into their hip belts. And what that does is it gives it articulating hips. As you move, uh, as anybody moves, those hip belt pockets and hip belt straps are gonna be moving with you really, really well. That articulating hip belt is so, so nice. And I think it's one of the nicest features across Mystery Ranch's line of backpacks. They carried it over into the Bridger, which is really great to see. I think I just didn't notice the pack very much at all, which made it, it was comfortable. So I didn't really think about, oh, I'm sweaty, or I didn't, I didn't think about any of that. So I feel like if I didn't think about it, then it wasn't necessarily there, yeah. right? So, that's a good sign. <laughs> I can speak to this uh, perhaps a little bit more because I know some of the other packs uh, that Mystery Ranch has made. And something that's new for the Bridger series is this vertical channel here 
that they have used, which gives this much more airflow than their other models. So I would still say that Mystery Ranch's airflow system is about average to maybe slightly above average. I would probably give some of the other models from Osprey and Gregory maybe a little bit higher marks on the airflow. But what I do really like is that there is this kind of cell division. It's, everything's kind of punched out. I don't know if you can really see that without light shining through, but that design is through all of here, all of your hip belts. Mm -hmm. And that really helps draw air away from your skin, helps you not develop a big sweaty back. And then this also, this air chamber allows for that hot air that builds up on your back to escape and get out of there, which is really nice. Let's talk about ease of getting it fitted. And I think this is honestly where Mystery Ranch really excels. This was the easiest time that we have had getting you to fit into this backpack. Yeah, um, it took two seconds. <laughs> Took two seconds. Maybe we just got really lucky that this was like the perfect, the perfect size. The kind yeah. of pre, the manufacturing fit was exactly like your mm -hmm. body. But if you are new to Mystery Ranch, um, they have this interesting design thing where you take out this whole cool thing. So all you do is you break up this Velcro connection between the two packs using this, and then you can slide it up and down the frame stays. So it is really easy. To do that, to get it adjusted just right, and then as soon as you've got it, Velcro reconnects. This slides back into its little sleeve, and you've got yourself a nice fitting backpack. So as long as you've done your measurements correct and you've bought the small, the medium, or the large torso pack, there's a lot of room to adjust this pack to mm -hmm. your body shape, uh, which, is, which is really, really nice. Durability. Which again, maybe is going to be more of my uh, zone to, to speak on. Mystery Ranch is pretty much the king of, in my eyes, comfort and durability. That is their sweet spot in the market for backpacks. They do a lot of work with the military. They do a lot of work with firefighters, like wildland firefighters. Uh, they do a lot of work with hunters. Now, their users are some of the most hardcore users out of anybody out there using backpacks. And so they need to make backpacks that really withstand some heavy duty use, which is why mm -hmm. there's things like these heavier duty buckles, heavier duty straps, things that make the backpack a little bit heavier than some of the other, uh, say Gregory Osprey, some of the other pack makers out there. But what that means is that these packs are gonna withstand a lifetime of use. So as you can see, this backpack uh, it's been through the ringer already. It's lived a, so far a short life with me, only about six months of using this backpack, but I've taken it all over the world. I've already taken it on multiple expeditions. And uh, other than some dirt and grime, it has so far withstood everything perfectly. The materials, the fabric that's used is really uh, got this nice thick denier fabric that's going to be very abrasion resistant and um, so far, I have not experienced any sort of issues there on the durability. When I'm taking a break and I throw the pack down, I wanna be able to open up and grab my snacks super easy with no issues. When this backpack is full, this brain gets a little up there. And when I open this, this up to grab a snack, everything I have in there tends to fall out <laughs> yeah. and I'm because you have to be holding it perfectly straight up I can't just go throw it over here and and grab something and then not worry about anything coming out of it 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 was kind of like uh it was a little bit of a hassle every time I wanted to grab a snack or something it was yeah that was my biggest complaint for so, sure because the way it's the way sitting it's sitting here now because this is mostly be fine. empty is totally fine. The orientation is up. Anything that's up here is going to mm -hmm. stay in here. But what happens is you're, you got a fuller backpack. You unclip these to get something out. Then your pack is sitting kind of like it's this. Kind of open like this up and it awkward. all just dumps out. Yeah. So yeah. So if this was maybe oriented from the side or from the or front, even, it might not do that. I feel like even having the zipper start a little higher up could be even helpful to where it's more of a bucket instead of you opening the whole thing up and it's like, okay, bye. 
<laughs> we all going bye bye. <laughs> yeah, I've so. had that happen myself multiple times with this backpack. Yeah. Um, I I actually have a couple. Uh, so now that I've used this backpack more, uh, the 55 and the 65 liter have very similar designs on this part. Um, now I really like how this whole closure works. Yours is the same here. Yep. Um, so this is for my sleeping bag compartment down here. Really love that. That is great. Yeah. However, so what mm -hmm. am I complaining about? Right down here, these straps mm, are yeah. just short. They, they don't extend further than that. And now, if you have a full backpack and you don't have the ability to put your tent inside your backpack, which some people prefer to do, I have a tendency to put my backpack, or I have a tendency to put my tent right here if I have a large tent, it just doesn't really fit much extra there. If they just extended that strap by a few more inches, you'd have the ability to attach a lot more to the outside of your pack. Mm -hmm. And so that to me is a very simple fix. I hope the Mystery Ranch can just simply extend those straps out a little bit. That would be very, very nice. And there is a similarly placed strap right here mm -hmm. that comes up and across this way to keep everything nice, which I really like it. It does a great job of keeping everything, especially in this higher part of the backpack, nice and tight. However, the same thing, this strap does get a little short if you are at max capacity. Mm -hmm. So it can have a hard time with actually reaching this buckle point back here. If you have it completely loaded out to 55 liters, 65 liters, it can have a hard time reaching. I would just, just lengthen these straps up just the tiniest little bit. And uh, that's literally my only gripes. Those are minor details, but mm -hmm. uh, so if you do have a big bulky tent that you plan on attaching to the outside of the pack, you might have a hard time. If you have an ultralight tent or a smaller tent, no problem, it does reach. I've, I still backpack with a tent out there. It just doesn't have a lot of extra room for attaching something bigger. Um, okay, uh, what are the differences between the 55 liter pack and the 65 liter pack? They are very similar, but they are different. The main thing is going to be how this 55 liter backpack has this stretch mesh pocket that's great for stuffing sandals. You were using it for your chacos, uh, <laughs> camp shoes, rain jackets, maps, maybe some snacks, things like that. Uh, go back here really nicely. And this one is totally different. So they both do this really cool, uh, open this guy up, double flay. If you undo these buckles here, they, you can fully flay these open, which I love about this backpack. Mm -hmm. Now this one, instead of doing the stretch mesh, has this another flay pocket that is really cool. And there's multiple ways uh, to contain additional gear in these backpacks. So if you really have a lot of gear, you really want a lot of organization capabilities, then I would recommend moving up to the 65 liter uh, pack versus the 55 liter pack. But what I find is that with this system, I actually use this less than I thought I would versus this. I prefer, this is just so easy to get in and out and I never think about it. It's kind of right there in your face. So it's really nice to just throw a rain jacket in here. Mm -hmm. I do actually use this as my main rain jacket uh, compartment. I also use this for some toiletries and things like that. And by toiletries, I mean things for the toilet. Uh, keeping my poop stuff separate. I really like having, what? I poop. <laughs> You do too, I think. Do I? I don't know. <laughs> Never had actual confirmation. That's the main way in which the 55 liter pack, this goes for the men's and women's version. It has the same design back here. The 65 liter pack is where it's different. It has this whole other uh, zipper compartment that flays open that is, that is pretty cool. And then both of them have all of these points for uh, attaching other gear or trekking poles or ice axes, ice picks, things like that, which is pretty cool that Mystery Ranch includes all of that. So this has, these packs have all the bells and whistles for backpacks. 
In my mind, these are the Cadillacs of comfort for backpacking mm -hmm. and they are really great. Uh, oh, we forgot one thing. There are both on, on all these, there are some nice hip belt mm. pockets. That is also in addition that most other Mystery Ranch backpacks don't have these zippered pockets included. I do really like those. I do love that. Mm -hmm. Mystery Ranch has tended to uh, have these add-on pockets, kind of aftermarket pockets that you can attach, which is cool if you want to add like specific bear spray pockets or specific camera pockets. Mm -hmm. But I kind of just like the pocket that's right there it's great for cell phones. It's great for snacks, lighters, small knives, things like that. Little I'm bug, a, bug spray, bug spray, chapstick, things that you need to have like an immediate access to that you want to use constantly throughout yeah. the trail. Bringing it home. Bring it We're going to bring the video home right now. This has been a long video. We've had lots to discuss, but <laughs> who is the Bridger 55 liter pack for? Um, I would say that this pack excels for newer backpackers intermediate backpackers, and Ooh. even <laughs> women. Well, no, I'm, the I'm advanced also a, backpackers. a new backpacker. You, so. Yes, so this I backpack have... is perfect mm -hmm. for you. You have gone on about six or seven backpacking trips at this point, mm -hmm. so you're still kind of on the newer zone <laughs> of your backpacking career, and this, is, this was perfect for you. Yeah. Um, however, I have been backpacking for two decades now, and this is still my preferred backpack. I keep coming back to this backpack over and over. So Mystery Ranch has done an amazing job of doing, making a great backpack that's going to make pretty much everybody happy, except for ultralighters. Ultralighters <laughs> hate this backpack because it does weigh over five pounds. So that's where, if you are really gung-ho about being ultralight, this isn't for you. But uh, this is a slightly expensive backpack at $329. This one is $359, I believe, for the 65 liter pack, which makes it a little bit pricey. It's on the upper end, but it's still the high part of the middle end, I think, uh, of the backpacking world. So I think it's great for a lot of people out there. I think everybody can be excited about this. The only thing I would love to see from Mr. Ranch is maybe shaving a little bit of weight off of this pack by reducing how many buckle points there are. There are lots and lots of buckles on this backpack. And I think that they could simplify it even just a tiny bit more, shave a tiny bit of weight off, and uh, it'd be the, per the perfect backpack. Oh, and uh, work on this uh, lid point so it doesn't dump your, your snackies. My when, snackies. When you're breaking. <laughs> so, okay, that's it for me. Uh, special thanks to my girlfriend, Christy. She divulged too much information. We will scrub that from the internet later. Uh, It'll be okay. I am sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any parting thoughts? Go backpacking. Hey, <laughs> go backpacking, everybody. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed here at Backpacking TV. And uh, Christy and I, we're gonna enjoy this beautiful Montana day. See you later, everybody.